guys, from Between The Liners, welcome back to the latest episode of the Old Trafford Vlogs. It's Manchester United versus Leicester City in the round of 16 of the Carabao Cup. You guys already know my favourite competition in the world is the Carabao Cup. So excited, driving up at the same time, excited but sad at the same time. Obviously we've lost Eric Ten Hag, he's been sacked just the other day. And at the same time, it's a happy time because Ruud van Nistelrooy is one of my favourite players of all time, United and football wise overall so what a privilege to be able to go see him in the dugout even if it is just for one match and i'm gonna be there and i'm literally gonna be behind the away bench so i won't be too far off from rude either so a real privilege to be able to go watch rude take over the team even if it is just for one game in charge the shackles are going to be off obviously we've had some dreadful run of results and performances over the last few months and possibly even a year or so so Hopefully the boys are feeling a bit free, playing with a bit of freedom and let's get some goals. In the last time I came to the Carabao Cup and played against Barnsley, I saw seven goals, which was incredible. Go check out that vlog in the in the, in my channel. And today I'm expecting the same to be honest. Leicester City aren't in great form. They might even rotate a few players because they need to survive relegation, so they're probably going to rest a few of their first team starters. Will be fun to see Jamie Vardy play because I've never seen him play live. But at the same time, wouldn't be surprised if he scores a goal. But more importantly for United side, Garnacho always turns up in a Carabao Cup, guaranteed to score. Hopefully Rashford can get a bit of his confidence going like he has done since the start of the season. And hopefully the boys play with a bit of freedom, man. Um, we really need some positivity in this club and hopefully Van Nistelrooy is the start of something greater and I know we've said that many times before but with Ineos coming in now and changing things from the top to the bottom I hope things will gradually get better with time things will get better I'm sorry for Eric Ten Hag but football's a ruthless game man we keep it moving anyway make sure you like the footage make sure you like the video comment etc enjoy the rest of the footage I'll get plenty of behind the scenes footage from training ground warm up the match hopefully some goals as well and stay tuned for my reaction after the game see you in a bit Thank you. 
Yes, Manchester United have won 5-2 against Leicester. I'm on my way home, don't even ask what time it is. All in all, a positive performance. Before the game, I asked for some positivity and I think that's what I've got. Five goals, can't complain. Garnacho getting on the score sheet. Bruno, two goals. Casemiro, two goals as well. And Casemiro, that first goal was an absolute banger. Honestly, in my head when he was taking a shot, I was actually thinking, please don't shoot. But he proved me wrong. An um, unbelievable goal. Ruud van Nistelrooy on the touchline. What a privilege to see him managing my club. You know me, like I rom romanticise football a lot. I romanticise Manchester United a lot in particular. Seeing Oli Gunnar Solskjaer and now Ruud van Nistelrooy manage my team. And even Michael Carrick to a certain extent. Some of my favourite footballers ever have managed my team. And it's like a childhood dream 
fulfilled. You never would have imagined that this would have actually happened. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the footage. Feels sad still, to be honest, a bit in the ground. Like, I know there's a lot of us that go to the games that support Ten Hag or did support Ten Hag as much as we could. But excited for a new era. The boys played with a bit of freedom today. Looked a lot more clinical. But sometimes luck goes in your favour and... That's what it looked like today. Usually some of those chances probably would have missed and today they were going in. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the footage. I think I've got two of Bruno's goals in there. Maybe not so many others, but I need to get home. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe and comment. As you can see, it's got quite dark. So I'll speak to you in a bit. Take care. Bye. Between Between lines. Lines.